Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Don Michael and today we're going to be talking about one person still wanting to have sex in a marriage and the other person does not. And what do you do about this from both of the spouses? How do you go about um, continuing this marriage and what do you do with this challenge that you have in the relationship? Now, obviously, this doesn't apply to couples where neither one of them want to have sex and they're okay with this, or that um, maybe intermittently there's problems with your sex life. I'm really talking about the couples where they haven't had sex for months or years and there seems to be no resolution. So when people get married, they basically commit themselves to being each other's partners in life, um, raising kids together, having a, a business or finances, a house, and also sharing that intimate part of their lives, which is the sexual aspect. And so when this happens and over time, one person does not want to have sex or is no longer able to have sex, what does the other person do who still feels the desire and still wants to have the connection with their spouse and now that's been taken away from them? What do they do? Do they stay in the marriage? Do they go outside the marriage? Um, do they go for help? All of these things are important to look at and one of the things that I will say is the person that wants to have sex sometimes is labeled as being over-sexual or why can't they just masturbate or perhaps they've worked something out about going outside the marriage. But the point that often gets lost is that connection, that intimate connection that the two people share and that uh, bond that it creates and that closeness that it creates, especially if it's something that the couple enjoyed previously in their marriage and it was something that um, made that connection even deeper. And that's one of the things that people really feel the most, but oftentimes they don't express it properly. And so um, that's something that I really did want to touch on today is that that loss of the emotional physical connection. So the first thing I would recommend if you haven't already is to go see a counselor, somebody that can help the two of you understand why you're not having sex and explain things that you can do to perhaps get your sex life back. Uh, along with that, it's very important to go see a medical doctor for the person who does not want to have sex to make sure that there is not a medical reason, um, whether it be due to pain or hormones, um, just to make sure that they have checked themselves out and there is a reason besides not wanting to have it. Uh, it could be a medical reason and that might be something that they could resolve. So those two things are very important to start with. Um, after you have done those things, if you still don't want to have sex, the person still does not want to have sex, then the person that does, that's when they need to make the decision. Do they want to continue to stay in the marriage? Uh, how is it without having uh, sex? Can you modify the sex? Can it be that you're still intimate together? Uh, maybe you're still bringing each other pleasure in other ways and it doesn't have to do with intercourse. Um, you could come to some kind of agreement or negotiate on how you can both bring each other pleasure when you can do this, set up like a, a date night, a sex night, something where you're still having an exchange of intimacy. Um, Sometimes that does work in a relationship, and that could be the solution that you're looking for. The last op option, of course, is to leave the relationship and to get a divorce. And again, it's about weighing those options. Is it, um, you know, is it 
going to be too painful to leave the marriage at this point? Do you have kids? Are you maybe older and the sex isn't as important, but it's still important? Maybe the relationship and the friendship is more important. And so all of these things need to be weighed and decided before actually looking to get a divorce because a divorce can be a complete nightmare. But also, I will say that if it comes to a point where you're not having sex for years and you're healthy and you're young and you still want to experience it, then sometimes um, it is time to get out of the relationship and perhaps it is not a healthy relationship for you or your spouse. So there is no one size fits all. Um, the term sexless marriage, it's kind of vague because it means something different to every couple. There is no norm of how often people should be having sex in a marriage. It really is your no, your norm, you know, what you did in the beginning of the marriage or for a large part of the marriage, you know, what was your normal sexual routine and that's really what it's based upon. And are there um, some real medical issues, psychological issues, or just perhaps maybe your spouse does not have the same feelings that they once had for you. And that needs to be explored because being in a marriage, you want it to be about a mutual partnership. You want it to be about two people loving each other, respecting each other, desiring each other, and wanting to be together. So I hope that this has brought some light to the situation. And if you are dealing with this and struggling with this, that you definitely get the help that you need. Uh, I do offer counseling and my contact is on my website at thehappyspouse.com. I believe that everyone deserves to have a healthy sex life and so do you.